Hey, what up guys? How's it going? Okay, I'm back with something kind of cool. I have a brand new Tesla wall connector glass fascia. If you have a Gen 3 wall connector, then this is for you. They come in a variety of colors on their website. They're about a hundred bucks. No big deal. So uh, yeah, I got one here for my wife as a Christmas gift. Um, I'm going to unbox it right now. We'll check it out. Go in the garage, do a quick install and be done. All right, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. My wife recently got a brand new red Model 3, so I thought this would make a cool gift for her. All right. Okay, and here it is in all its glory. So this is the same exact color as the car. These are all color matched. So if you have a blue Tesla and get the blue faceplate here, then uh, it is the same exact blue. So all the colors are identical to the car. So that's what kind of makes them so special. And as you can see here, I added this decal of Elon Musk signature like I have on my Gen 2 wall connector. I have that special edition one that was signed by Elon that uh, a couple of people got. So anyways, it'll kind of match like mine in the garage, but I'll show you. Anyways, I'll bring this a little closer. Okay, so you can see they're a little closer, super shiny, super glossy. Sorry about all the reflection there and uh, the backside. Yeah, it's just this. So it's pretty simple, just some torque screws we'll go ahead and put on. And uh, yeah, we'll be done with this in like eight minutes. Not that big of a deal. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and install it in the garage. Oh yeah, before I forget, also inside there are some screws, but we're just gonna use the same two screws that we're holding in the white uh, plate on the Gen 3 wall connector. All right, in the garage here, and uh, there's my wife's Gen 3 on the wall over there. And there is my Gen 2 with the uh, Elon signature on it. That was a special edition one that they had from the referral program. Anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is turn the power off to my wife's Gen 3, and then we'll go ahead and get busy. Okay, now there are four screws. Again, make sure you turn the power off which, you know, I have. As you can see, there's no green light indicated here. And there are four screws, two up top and two under. Here are some photos of them right here. Okay. Now your wall connector came with a bit to uh, tighten these and take them off. And that's the same bit that I'm using here. So take these off. Okay, comes right off, voila. All right, so we have it off the wall. Uh, this blue tape is here just covering up my wall connector information, but inside there are two screws. Um, I have a PC torque screwdriver here. Anyways, get inside there. We're gonna take these two out. Okay, now we got those two screws removed. Let's go ahead and flip it over. and pull down and that's it thus revealing the wall connector and the faceplate and let me go ahead and uh, get the new one okay so we'll just do it in reverse there are two tabs right here that go under this and then it'll go and it'll line up and you'll see where the two screws will go put it there and that's it you'll know you'll see it flush and all lined up okay and let's just go ahead and put in the two screws okay nice and tight and let's go ahead and put it back on the wall okay so now we're all ready to go this just goes right back where you had it kind of push it back and you'll know the two holes and everything will line up perfectly. There you go, nice and snug. And we're just gonna put in the four screws again. One, two, three, four, and we're rocking and rolling. Okay, you guys, really quick, here's the bit that takes off the four screws, two up top, two on the bottom, and it came with your Gen 3 wall connector. So you're gonna need this, or uh, hopefully you have something that will fit.
All right, you guys, there you go. Another flawless install. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is go back to the breaker, turn back on the power. All these should be green and we'll be good to go. And I'll plug my wife's car back in, but another flawless install without burning down the house on Christmas. And uh, all right, guys. All right, you guys, that's it. All done, ready to go. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and uh, let me know. But that's cool, red, red, red. And uh, yeah, that's it. Everything in the garage is pretty much just black, white, and gray, except for the splash of color of my wife's car, the red wall connector, and the red car for my nieces and nephews. Oh yeah, I do have yellow because I'm a DeWalt guy, but that's it. All right, you guys, any questions? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. All right, guys.